great. Oh, there's the portal again. Oh, there's the portal again. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to MC Eternal. We're in episode two, guys, and uh, we uh, it's still spooky out. It's very spooky. Um, yeah, I'm that's a fox. I don't like it. It says uh, that that place over there. We're gonna stay away. I think the gravestones is what uh, identified the the spook area. So we're gonna stay over here. Uh, I would like to get into Tinker's Construct today, and as you can see, we have a few crafting stations. Now, guys, if you're new to modded, the cool thing about crafting stations is that um, you know, normal crafting tables, when you go out, uh, for one, you can't see the items you're crafting, and two, they go right back into your inventory, so you're able to store recipes in here. So what I wanted to do with you guys is we're gonna make these blank patterns because we want to get into Tinker's. And Tinker's is good because we can make some pretty, pretty neato Toledo tools. So we're going to go ahead and make a few things. We're going to need to get a crafting table going. We're going to need to get uh, a chest going. I will show you why in a few seconds. And then we're going to get some more wood. So we're going to be using these blank patterns. Now you're going to put the blank patterns here. Take a crafting table. We're going to make ourselves a tool station. This will be important later. Right, we're going to take our chest. We're going to make a pattern chest. Uh, and then we're going to take one of these guys. We're going to make a stencil table. And then a part builder here with this lot. Or wood, I guess. Um... Yeah, so Nito Toledo. I actually want to put the stuff here. All right, now we're going to want to go ahead and put our stencil table down first. Uh, we're going to put that here. We're going to put our part builder next to it, along with the pattern chest next to that. And then the tool station on the furthest to the right, because this is the order and the way things will go. So we're going to put the rest of our stencils. I think I left them over here, maybe. I sure did. We're going to take our stencils. We're going to throw them in here like so. And now we're going to be able to make these patterns. We make a pickaxe head like so. We can make a shovel head, we can make a hatchet head, or an axe head, that's what it's called, makes a hatchet. Uh, that's what we're going to be needing right away. Uh, and then the part builder here, we take these uh, these patterns and we combine them up together with these with uh, materials. Now, there's a certain amount of materials in this. Uh, I'm not going to go over every single one of them because that does take a while. But to make the pickaxe, the best way to see the recipe is to come over here to the tool station and go, hey, I need a pickaxe head, this X thing, and a stick. Unfortunately, I don't think you can use the stick. You need to make this tool rod pattern. We, we're going to try that out, though. And then we're going to need to make this binding pattern, which is that X we were talking about earlier. Let's go ahead. We're going to throw this in the pattern chest because that's what that's there for. Look, as you can see, we can throw all of these in here. Very neato. And it holds them all for us. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to grab this guy. We're going to make the binding. Uh, let's actually make the binding out of wood. Make it out of wood. There we go. And then we're going to take the stick, put it there, swap it out. Boom, a stick. And we're going to go ahead, we're going to go click, 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 there we go, and we have our stone pickaxe. Now this only has 96 durability, but it is uh, repairable, which our other two are not. I mean, technically they're repairable, but you need experience. This one, you just combine with cobblestone and you're good. That is an angry zombie. Those guys are terrifying. But we have this tempered blade, which is sharpness one, a breaking three, and mending. Let's give him a, let's give him a taste of his medicine, what he needs. This guy's coming. These guys hit hard. Angry Zombert. I have the high ground. Anakin, come on. We get brains. Brains for the win. Zombie brains. Let's check out what we can use with this. Oh, we can make a sanity checker. Why do we need that? I am totally sane in the membrane, right? So we don't need to go ahead. We don't need to sleep. So let's just go ahead and throw the brains up in here. Let's continue on with what we were doing. So now we have this cool beans stone pickaxe. So we're gonna go ahead and make some other materials just as well. So let's go ahead and make the patterns, like so. So we got, and we're gonna make these two guys. So now we can have our complete toolage. Okay, so it's gonna be like this, like this, and like that for this this guy, and then for this guy. Put that there. Cool. Now we have all of our tools and tinkers. This is so neat. Now they're all repairable. All right. So tools made. We are looking great. Oh, there's the portal again. Oh, there's the portal again. Jeez Louise, man. Let's go investigate, actually. It's in a different spot. Let us see. The guy's going to spawn in, maybe. Yeah. Okay, so he spawns in. Where are you? Rifter. What's up, Rifter? What's up, Rifter? I don't know where that other guy went. He just teleported. Um, ha! Oh, I didn't know I could go through it! Oh. Oh. Uh. 
I don't think that was a good idea. This is not good. Oh, jeez. Okay, so I think we're in a place called the Midnight. I'm gonna be honest, this is amazing. I, okay, there's a portal. Let's go to that portal. Are there any guys here that we need to worry about? Cause the Rifter guy was there. So cool, I'm not gonna lie, this is awesome looking. Got some rock shroom. Okay, so there's a baddie over there. Let's go check it out. It says they're like right over here. I think they're, oh, no, there's that guy. Okay, so they move a little bit faster. I think they're a bit bigger here. Where did that portal go? I saw it from up top. I don't know where it went. Though it might change though, like where it's at. I don't know, I should have just beelined for it. Cool thing is we have the mini map so I can tell. Oh, where are you? Oh, he's coming right at me. We need to find. Ha, you're gonna die. Maybe, maybe not. Tomato, baked potato, just kidding. What is hitting? Oh, I'm tormented. Ah. Ah! We're good. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. To get our way out of this. Ah! Ah! Keep walking into these things. Glade shrooms. Found one. No, it's gone. Ah, oh, that was so stinking close, man. Dang it. Hopefully I can get to this one in time. I don't know if I can or not. We're gonna frickin' try though, dudes. Come on. Yes! <laughs> ah, yes. We are back, baby. Oh gosh, we have a bunch of creepers and stuff like that. We gotta get home. Oh, we're so close. Ah, the spider. Spider, 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 spider. Run away, run away. Oh, bow guy. Oh, we got flying ghost guys. Oh, we got baby spider. That's creepy as heck. Ah, I'm probably gonna get hit. Yeah, got hit. Oh, don't get hit again, please. Please don't get hit again. Oh, man. Okay, we're never going back there. We did it! Yeah! <laughs> Frick yeah. All right, guys, so we are back in the overworld. I am so excited, because that means we can continue on with Tinker's Construct. But while we were there, I got this thing called Dragon's Nest, and it was a quest in over here. So let's check out and see where it's at. It says Dimensions. Yeah, Visit Dimensions. Okay, so we got that. We got a launcher prototype. Okay, let's check our other quest. Um, let's see, Mystical Agriculture. Okay, we're going to select that. Okay, so we got it. So we have $776. Cool, look at that. That's beautiful. What else can you get? Get wood. You can get magical items. Okay, so we're getting to besides the point. So we need to we're working on Tinker's construct. Um let's get on down there. We need to gather up some food. And we need to nom this food. Like nom 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 nom. Why is it only worth one? Wow. I thought that would have been worth much more, but it's only Assisted in adding hearts. Ooh, that's not very good. Oh, it's Pam's Harvest Craft. We gotta make some cool stuff, huh? Okay, Um, so we need to go get some clay. That's our first order of business. Got some clay right here by these cool gentlemen. Thank you guys for keeping my clay nice and safe. Okay, so got that. What are you? I don't know. You seem pretty neat, though. So, okay, so we got some clay. How much clay do we end up getting from that? 40. Okay, so that's a little bit. Let's get some more of this clay over here. Cool thing is we also have some gravel, but I don't want to grab that one because that's right by our place. Um, though I don't think we're going to stay here for too much longer. Like in there, we might go somewhere else. Any gravel and sand. Uh, so we're just going to grab this sand here as much as we can. Oh, we broke our shovel. That was smart. Okay, so we've gathered up some gravel, some sand, and some clay, but I'm out over here, like, bases over there. This is, like, right where we came out of the uh, the other world, but look at that. There's a little building up over there. There's also a cloud pet, or maybe some pets up there. Hopefully there's a cloud pet up there. 
but uh, I think we're going to need to get one of those flying machines. Uh, I really am excited to get one of those because I've, I've never really played with them. Like, I remember... Whoa. I won't let you... That's weird. I remember I played with them way back on... I think it was, like, uh, Foolcraft 2 when uh, I was playing on the server with AZ Badfish and Psychotic Butcher. I, it was the last time I used one of them, so it's been, it's been a minute. Um... Yeah, hello, Mr. Cow. How are you? I love how this says mending on it. It's great. It's a great sword. It's a great sword. It's great. We're going to kill one of these guys. Hey, don't ink me. Don't ink me, you inker. Your freaking buddy inked me. Are you going to ink me too? Yep, you tried. I'm blind. I'm legally blind. Okay, we're good. Ooh, mystical agriculture. Like, mystical white flower. That's a good one. I think that's like our entry into it almost if I, if I don't if i'm not mistaken that's the word all right so over here we got all of our tinker stuff right we're gonna come over here like this and we are going to make something called grout you know like what you put in between your tile i am grout but uh, this is a little bit different slightly different uh this stuff is uh, pretty neat we got a lot of it so i'm gonna smelt it up and i'll show you its neatness after it's smelted up all right, we seem to have a good amount of this stuff now, but when you smelt grout, you get some seared bricks, and this is where the magic happens, babe. Uh, I don't know what I was going to say there. So what we need to do is you need to go ahead and make these uh, seared bricks, and these are going to help us to make our smelter right now. I'm going to make up a, quite a few of these. Um, we're going to go... We need at least... We need a whole pack of time. Um, so 13 is a good amount, I think. Let's see. I'm, we're going to upgrade our pickaxe. Uh, we're just going to throw a diamond on him. Uh, take this out. We throw that in there. We should have... We have three modifiers. We throw a diamond on there. So if, if you look, it has 596 durability. Now, if we take the diamond off, it only has 96. So that's 500 durability with just that. Uh, the next one we're going to be making is the um, a redstone. I can't believe I forgot redstone. We're going to put redstone on it. It's going to make it mine a whole lot faster. As you can see, it mines okay. It's just it's a snail. It's a flipping snail, guys. I'm not going to lie. Ugh. Okay, so got some more. We need a, we're gonna need a lot more of this stuff. I'm gonna have to collect some more off camera. So I want to have it so it looks nice. I want to have it indented in the wall. So this is where it's gonna start. Um, and then we're going to kind of come out over here like this. So we're gonna have blocks here. We're gonna do a three by three one. It's gonna look weird sticking out the side for now, but don't worry, guys. We will make it pretty in the future. Uh, so let's see. I fall down. Let me just go like that. I don't know why it was so difficult about that. So we just need two more to complete the circle, but we're actually going to take this one here. We're going to move it to over here, and then we're going to take this one. This will be our tank. We're going to move it here. Yes. Okay. So we should have enough of this. Yep, we sure do. So we come over to our crafting station over here, and we do this big old circle guy. We get a smell tree controller and this is going to be the brain of our system and we're going to need to get a piece of glass so let's smelt up some sand yeah we even got more very cool uh yeah uh, i don't have anything else to burn let's grab this we don't need this burn that <laughs> just in case yeah it worked perfect we didn't lose it okay so we just need one piece of glass we're gonna come like this and we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna come all the way around it and we're gonna make a seared tank yeah, baby. Now watch. It's lit. It's real lit in here, guys. Oh, dang. So look, as you can see, we have nine spaces in here. Each one of these, as you can see, these blocks uh, counts as a space. So if we were to throw, say, some iron in, as you can see, that counts. And then here's the pro... No valid fuel. So we need to get lava in here. Do you know anywhere we can get lava? I don't think there's any lava around, guys. What the heck? All right. All jokes aside, let's go ahead and put this in okay so we do have what we need now this should be smelting up perfect all right there we go perfect okay so that's good as long as you don't move the controller it will keep all of that so we don't have to worry about like losing it uh, if we break a block or something like that so let's go ahead and grab the remaining amount of these and we're going to go ahead and create a drain here like so uh, this is going to allow us to get the, the metal out. We're going to make a faucet. Whoops. Uh, that will allow us to get more stuff out. And then we're going to do a casting table. 
and that will allow us to cast things out of here. And the cool thing is, is if we, I believe, by default, if unless it's changed, you can throw ores into here, like iron ore, and it will double the amount you get. So I don't know if that's been changed. Uh, we'll have to check it out in a second. Okay. So I actually think we need to switch the faucet and the tank. The faucet needs to go here like that, and then the tank needs to go here like this. The reason I say that is because we need to put the casting table right below it. So if we do this, now we have access to cast things. Very, very cool. Now we're going to need gold, actually, and I don't think we have enough money for gold. Aha, easy money. Stick into book. That makes sense, right? We take one stick, we make one book. Yes, logic. Okay, so let's grab this one stick. We're going to go like this. And then we get the Akaka Kasaha Tome. And we get two. Uh, ooh, Mask of Bliss. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so let's see here. Should be able to buy the gold. Yes. Yes. Build 16 gold. Now, the gold. Oh, we need to sleep. Okay, sleeping done. So we need to add the gold into here as well. Uh, we're going to do nine, so we're just going to put the nine in there. And what we're going to be using is we're going to grab some cobblestone, and we're going to make some more of the patterns we want to make. Uh, yeah, we're going to grab this guy here. You might be asking yourself, why do you need cobblestone? So what we're actually going to be doing is we're going to be switching over to an iron pickaxe head. And to do so, we need one of these. Yep. And what you do is, is the gold melted up yet? You put the, the gold down at the bottom. You take a stone head, look, you put it there, and you put the gold over it, and it will make the cast for it. So basically, we're casting a, uh, a template for it, and it will use the, the cobblestone thing. So we can switch back over to the iron. Now we can make an iron pickaxe head. And we're already, we're already moving up in the world, ladies and gentlemen. Already moving up. And it, as you can see up top left, and we're done, Ski. So now we have this. Let's go ahead, whoops, not that, not that. Let's go ahead and swap it out. So look, as you can see, we go from 595 to, well, we also get a speed bump or a, a boost. We, we can also mine obsidian now. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Very cool. Now this has magnetic two on it, as you can see. What that means is I believe we have some magnetic properties for the, um, for items. So we can also go ahead we're going to upgrade our shovel head as well, and we're going to need to make another pattern chest for this. Okay, that felt a lot more difficult than it actually was. Okay, so all we need to do is just make another pattern chest, and in this one, we're going to throw in our cast. So now this became a cast chest instead of a pattern chest. Very, very simple, but uh, for some reason, too smart for me. Okay, so let's go ahead and make a uh, stone axe head. There we go. We can do that now, and then we'll take this guy. This is awesome. We're moving. We're moving up in the world quick. We're moving up, guys. Trust me. Living like Larry. So that's done. Let's go ahead and get the iron. We're going to make that, and then we're also going to make that. The cool thing is, you can just upgrade your tools uh, throughout the game. So yeah, you can also do the um, the hilt and the binding agent. Uh, we'll need to look in to see what is the best option for that. But there we go. Let's upgrade our hatchet. Look, that one, that goes from 96 to 183. We don't even have a diamond on it. We're getting lots of durability. <gasps> I made two of these. Frick. Okay. So we go from 183. We're going from 96 to 183. Okay, so just like the other one. Now, um, can we do this? <gasps> we can. We can throw that. Oh, that's so great. There are a lot of mod packs that don't allow you to do that. So now we have upgraded our tools. Very, very neato, guys. So we have done a heck ton of stuff today, guys. Freaking awesome. I can't wait for next episode. We're going to be flying, guys. Oh, you're going to love it. Make sure you're there. Make sure you're there. You got to hit that like button. You got to... You, you, just kidding. Don't hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button and the bell so that way you guys can be at the next episode as soon as it launches because we're going to have a great time. Anyway, guys, I love your face. See you later. Bye-bye.